So, segment three. Box number three. Box number three. Yeah, we just looked at the sailfin tang. That was in the last video. These are long spine urchins. This is a long spine urchin. We have two of them. Hey, now, if you look at the thing there in the center of them, that is eye. it looks like his eye. Now, it's not his eye. It's his bum. <laughs> okay. Everybody always seems to tell me, oh yeah, look at his eye there. No, he has light sensing organs around the uh, outside down near the bottom, but they're not eyes. And as you can tell, he moves fairly quickly because he moved out of the camera shot. Okay. These are very prickly. Those spines are very long, they're very brittle, and they have backwards facing hooks. So uh, once they go in there, they're really hard to get out. You've got to pull at them and they break off. and They cause you quite a bit of discomfort. No worry, you're not missing anything. It's just more anemone Yeah, those crabs. are the uh, two more anemone crabs. This here is a diadema basilate. Okay. Kind of aggressive. Uh, you wouldn't want to put it in with a light uh, butterfly or the ring-eye gobies or anything really peaceful. It does well with the clownfish. It's reef safe. Oh, cool. It uh, doesn't eat shrimp or anything like that. It uh, goes in with your angels. Is he related to him? Okay. This here is a black cap basslet. That is a diadema basslet. They're all related. Uh, the royal grammas, the diademas. Uh, there's royal basslets where they're fuchsia and yellow, but they're not a royal gramma, so they're a royal basslet. But any place where this uh, black cap could go, the diademon can go as well. You just want to make sure that uh, the fish in there aren't too big, that they eat them. And he's a good all-purpose fish. Okay. Colorful, attractive, one to a tank. If you have two of these, they will fight. And Same with the back the black caps? Or no? Yes, the black caps. About the only uh, basilet that uh, goes in a group would be your orchid dotty back. Dotty back is another name for basilet. Okay. Then these, I haven't seen them in so long. These are yellow clown gobies. They're a very peaceful fish. They're a lot like the ring eye gobies in size, but these ones don't hide. They hang out, uh, they perch on top of the coral rocks, things like that. We got three of them, I believe. Okay, this is a uh, regular maroon clownfish. In this tank we have the gold striped maroon clownfish. If you look at him, you can see the yellowish gold hue to the white stripes. He's 130. He will be about 48, roughly. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't looked at the price yet. Uh, I'll look at that after I get them all put away. Okay. Put these in the... Uh, there you can see them. So you got a really small, peaceful fish. They're really good for pico reefs and nano reefs and micro reefs. Any small reef. You can put them in a bigger tank too. You just can't have anything too big, too aggressive that uh, might eat them. They're going to go upstairs. We're going to do the tank that had the octopus in it before. It's going to be the pipe fish and the... Uh, How do they stick to the sides? Is he just well, they're a floating goby. there or is he sticking? No, gobies have a fused pelvic fin where it's kind of like a cup on the bottom of them and they stick to the side of things. So Ooh. these are going to have to be quarantined down here for three weeks before they go upstairs because the uh, pipe fishes, they're, they're going straight upstairs. They'll be quarantined up there with no copper or anything. They'll just be separated from everybody. But these guys will quarantine them down here. And then in three weeks, they'll go upstairs when we know that they don't have egg. What else is in here? This is a long-nosed hawkfish. Okay. He is a reef-safe hawkfish. He doesn't eat your shrimp or anything. He's very peaceful, colorful. Sits on top of the rocks, so you can always see him running around. Swims funny. Usually swims with his nose pointing up. Peaceful, 
Um, you wouldn't want to put them in with uh, puffers or triggers or anything like that. But he's community tank fish that goes in with these guys as well. Okay, so you got diadema basslets, royal grandmas, clownfish. That fairy wrasse can be a bit of a pain, but uh, he'd be okay with him even too. And the eel gobies, of course, they go everywhere. They hang out groups. You know, so these are onyx percula clownfish. You see how they're turning black? These are tank raised and they just pick through them to find the ones that are a little bit unusual and then breed them to accentuate. They've also got white clownfish, pearl eye clownfish. These ones, they told us they were going to take like four months, but they were before the, sec the, the, first, the second line. Like Yeah, when we first got couple, them, like uh, the black was ago. just starting to fill in the, between the headline and the middle line. Now you can see how that one, it's doing quite good. Uh, I don't know if their heads turn orange or not. I've never had these before. They're a relatively new fish that they've developed. But when they're breeding so many thousands of clownfish, you'll see the oddballs every now and again. And because, well, they're right there, you just pick them out. Whereas in the wild, the oddballs, they usually get weeded out because uh, they're not reinforced the gene. And this is a... This is modern coral. It's a real easy coral. That